Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you are new. Hi, welcome. My name is Femke and in today's video I want to share with you a cute short nail design that I made about a week ago. I used Born Pretty Store polishes, some beautiful butterfly stickers as well as some striping tape stickers. You heard me right, striping tape stickers. So these aren't on a roll but just on a simple sticker sheet. But first of all, if you are new to my channel, hi. I would really appreciate it if you would like to subscribe, hit that like button, add that notification bell as well if you want to be noted every time I upload a new video. But let's get back to this design. I have already off camera applied a base coat. You can use any base coat that you prefer, it doesn't really matter. It pretty much depends on what you want your base coat to do, what type of base coat you should use. But I'm going to use some beautiful polishes by Born Pretty Store and these are the super holographic regular nail polishes that I got a couple of months ago. So this one is just a beauty. It's a very nice light purple and it's called Nymph Shield. If you want to see a full on swatch and review video of the entire 16 piece holographic nail polish collection that I got sent out by Born Pretty Store, ju just look it up at my channel. Like it's really easy to find. And I also have a Born Pretty Store playlist. So you can definitely find it back at my channel really easily. And I might leave it in the end screen as well if I can remember to do so. But with this first color, I'm just going to apply the first layer to my thumb. And I'm also going to apply this to my pointer fingernail as well as my pinky. For the two colors that I'm using, I am going to apply two coats. But because I wanted to make this kind of like a relax and paint your nails together with me video, I just showed you the entire like application. Of course, I did cut out the drying time, but because these polishes don't need a lot of time to actually be fully dry i'd say just wait three minutes before you go in with your next coat or stickers or anything like that because these are so highly pigmented and holographic there is so much holographic pigments in these they actually dry really really quick so that's just another little heads up as well if you're going to use these polishes. They do dry quick so you have to work quite fast as well. But the second color that I am using is just a medium to like a little bit more of a darker purple tone. And this one is called Beautiful Eyes. It is definitely one of my favorites from that 16 piece nail polish collection. It is just so gorgeous you guys know me usually i'm all into like pinks and anything like pink related doesn't even matter what kind of like tone of pink i just love pinks but this purple really has stolen my heart because it is just so gorgeous it is like one of the most holographic colors in that collection even though i feel like they all have the same amount of holographic pigments in there or like shimmer or glitter or however you want to call it, I feel like the darker tones really have like a more intense holographic effect, if you know what I mean. And then again, the darker colors are also a little bit more pigmented like color wise. So I feel like you need to apply less polish to make it opaque quicker if you know what I mean. So yeah, for the lighter colors, just like the color I applied to um, my thumb and my pointer finger. Oh, and I have to correct myself. I actually said I was adding that lighter shade to my pinky, but it was my thumb, my pointer finger and my ring finger. Sorry about that. I got a little like mixed up in my head. That is something that sometimes happens after a long work week. Let's just put it to that. But once your first layer is dry, you want to go in with your second. And I actually bunked the side of my thumb like the nail um, into my desk that happens too like I can get quite clumsy when it comes to recording and anything like that I'm actually one of those persons that always walks into door handles and like door posts and stuff like that I'm like like very out of balance <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I've always had it. I'm always covered in like bruises on my legs, on my arms, because I just walk into things. If you are like that too, please let me know. Make sure, or at least make me feel like I'm not the only one who has that. Like, you could just sit me down on a chair and I will be able to fall off, like, 
from out of nowhere, you know? <laughs> I'm just a little bit clumsy when it comes to stuff like that. But yeah, here I'm just applying the second coat of both of the holographic colors. And I do feel like because these are just both purple tones they work really really well together and i just love that darker purple tone it is so gorgeous but because it is still like the peak of summer here in the netherlands i felt like adding a lighter shade was really suitable and for some reason always when it's summer i'm thinking ahead towards fall and winter already because i just love that time of year and i tend to like use darker colors more which makes no sense because it's like really good weather and stuff like that but yeah that's just how i work i think ahead in time too much i'd say but here you can see i am going to use some of that striping tape stickers and at the back you can see how you can apply them how to remove them and all that jazz um, to be honest it are just stickers you can go just simply cut off the amount of length of, of the sticker that you want to use of course i always take off a little bit more so it's really easy for me to cut off the excess because i had just recently shortened my nails like i think it was the night before i recorded this video so i was kind of like scrambled up in my mind how much of or at least how long the piece had to be so i just cut off a little bit too much so i can just trim it down if it was too long but i'm going to add this to the thumb and a little bit off center because i thought that looked really really cute and i'm going to add some um, butterfly stickers as well so i didn't want to be like fully centered um, because i did want to have one of those butterfly stickers like next to it and those are a little bit more like broad or wide but I'm just going to take my little Born Pretty Store nippers as well. I really love these. And they totally match like the holographic polishes too. It's kind of like an oil slick design and I really love it. It's really eye catching. So I can actually always find it back in my little cabinet where I keep all of my like nail tools. I actually got a new... Um, like work desk if i can say it like that because my husband still works from home due to the coronavirus um we actually made a huge like corner desk where we can both work on um and yeah so we kind of like remodeled our um like living room kitchen area like our kitchen is in our living room we kind of have like a big living room which is kind of like living room slash kitchen slash dining room all in one but it's quite a big like room it's l-shaped as well so in one cor corner we have like our living room with the tv and the big uh, u-shaped couch then we have the kitchen and the dining table and then in another corner we actually have our work set up right now so yeah i might do a video once everything is completely like done settled in i've placed everything where i want it to be i might do like a desk tour or workspace slash setup tour if you want to see that do let me know in the comments down below and i will make like a video really in depth of what i use what camera what lenses and so on so if you want to know more about that let me know in the comments down below but back to this video i'm just going to add some random butterflies to my nails i just added another piece of that striping tape sticker to my ring finger as well also a little bit off center because i just think it looks really cute and it's kind of like unexpected as well because usually like with striping tapes you tend to like automatically add those to like the center of the nail or something like that and i just felt like it had a little cute effect to do it a little bit off center also because i wanted some butterfly stickers to like be next to it as well i didn't really want to like overlap the stickers too much because these are stickers and sometimes it's a little bit hard to get rid of the lines and not make the nail look like a little bit thick or clumpy or anything like that because with some stickers especially if they have like a like how do you say that like a thicker rim surrounding the sticker if you go over with a top coat it really accentuates that and you don't want that so that's why i didn't really overlap the stickers too much but yeah because my nails were so like small it was actually kind of weird to paint my nails with like half of the length they usually have so it was quite challenging to actually paint my nails while 
there were like this short but it was a lot of fun though it gives me a lot more practice because if you always paint long nails um, it isn't really challenging anymore and it's quite fun and again challenging to just do shorter nails like this but yeah you just want to add your top coat after you have placed all of the stickers um, I will leave all of the links to the products that I used in the description box as well as in the pinned comments and I also have a 20% discount code by bornprettystore.com that you can use multiple times if you want to it is fem20 I will leave that in the description box and the pinned comments as well but yeah as usual just add a top coat no matter what kind it all works pretty nicely I just really like to use a little bit of like a thinner one so it seeps surrounding the little like stickers a bit more and you won't see the edges popping up as much but yeah I actually really love this design I love how holographic they are I love the butterflies it's just quite flashy and I really love it even though it are really short nails but thank you guys so so much for watching I really hope you liked it let me know in the comments down below what you think and as usual stay safe I love you so much and I hope to see you in one of my next videos Thank you.